Hello! Thank you for joining me for another little episode, hopefully in four minutes or less. I just set a timer. I'm really trying to keep myself on track here. Um, so yeah, I'm here every day. Usually in the, my goal is to do these in the mornings, but it's about, it's almost one o'clock now. At any rate, I'm going to be trying to get these done more earlier in the day. And I'm just sharing with you things that have helped me get and stay sober and to be positive and motivated and have an awesome life. So I collect a lot of stuff. There are a lot of amazing teachers and books and podcasts out there. And so my goal here is just to share them with you. And if they help you, great. And if not, come back tomorrow. There'll be something different. So today I'm sharing something from Brooke Castillo again. Um, I just mentioned her just a few days ago. She's going to show up a lot because she's awesome and I listen to her podcast a lot. And so um, Brooke Castillo, C-A-S-T-I-L-L-O, she has an amazing free podcast that she posts new stuff every week. Um, the episode I'm thinking about now is episode number 85 and it's about constraint. And so I'm an artist and I get a billion of amazing, a billion amazing ideas, billions of them, every day, all the time. And in fact, once I've decided to start working on one thing is usually when I start getting 50 more ideas for something completely different. So my art studio is crazy. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of medium that I want to work with. Um, you can see right there, that's a project I'm working on, uh, portraits of women, badass women. That's Ida B. Wells. Now that I'm talking about her, I'll just show you her because I'm practicing with the new medium. Normally I do charcoal. She's not done. Don't judge. Don't hate. But I'm practicing with um, oil pastel and chalk pastel. So, and then maybe someday I'll have the courage to show you my art studio. I am tidying it up, but it's a little crazy. Like I have a whole sewing area and that's just got obscene amounts of fabric and textiles and yarn and things like that. So I like to crochet and knit and sew, and I'm working on these giant tapestries um, and installations and wall hangings and things like that. And then um, I also like to make patches, like so I'll do spray paint stencils and uh, my porch is full of stuff that I'm working on. So constraint, I'm really interested in the idea of constraint and Brooke's podcast uh, presents it in a really great way. One of the troubles that can come up when we think about constraining ourselves to one thing, first of all, the reason we would want to do that is so that we can just like hone in and focus our time and energy on just one thing to get it awesome, to get it rocking, um, and then you can focus on other things. But we tend to get this uh, this panic around it and so it was really interesting when I decided to practice this idea of constraint as it applies to my art. Um, she encourages us to write down what comes up, like what are the thoughts? Why would I not want to practice constraint? Why wouldn't I just want to keep like painting one day and drawing the next and sewing the next day? Um, and so the, the big things that came up for me were fear of missing out on my beautiful ideas. Like I think of them as little babies and I want to give them all time and attention and love and play with them all. Maybe it's more like a basket of puppies. I don't want to have kids. So um, just this basket of amazing puppies that are coming at me all the time. And I don't want to say no to any of them. I can't just pick one. So I just wrote that down. Like that's an issue that comes up for me. The whole point of practicing constraint too um, is that we free ourselves up uh, from the brain work, the bandwidth that we're using to make decisions all the time. So if I... Um, have free time and I have a billion projects that I'm working on, I spend, I waste a lot of time just even deciding what to work on and getting started with it and I have to pull out all the supplies for something. Um, whereas if I choose to just practice constraint with one thing that I'm always kind of set up with it and I get to uh, practice it that one day. So I'm at four minutes so I want to wrap this up but uh, my challenge or what I think is helping and I'm practicing it is constraint. And I've decided to constrain myself to murals. I want to get the muraling thing up and running. So today I have gessoed a huge board that I'm going to use to practice painting on and um, start to build my portfolio by painting um, in really large scale. Um, I'm getting my studio set up and I'm taking away all the art supplies that don't have to do with muraling and I'm just setting myself up a nice space that only has to do with murals. And then one of the ways that I'm dealing with the fear of missing out of all my little precious puppy ideas is I'm making a list. So once I get the muraling thing up and running, I might uh, decide I have time and space to focus on a new idea. So I'm keeping this whole long idea or list of ideas so nothing gets lost or left behind. And then I'm also allowing myself one day a week to just play. So 
Um, if something's really pulling at me that doesn't have to do with murals, then I have a day in the week, Sunday if you're curious, uh, to just explore that for the day. So I'm excited to see how this goes, and I'm telling you all so I can be held accountable. So next time I see you, the art I'm working on should just be really about murals. Um, and let me know how it goes for you, if there's anything that you want to reel in in your life uh, to really focus all your energy on it. All right, I'm over time. We'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.